Okay, now we need to make an object. An object is a thing that we're actually going to use in the game. But you need sprites to use objects because the sprites will represent a picture that the object is. And okay, so well, just go to the blue circle that says create an object. And let's rename this. Player 1. If you don't want to get your files mixed up, you might want to put an abbreviation for object at the end. But I'm not too worried about that. And you just go to this thing here and choose your sprite. Okay, so now we got an object that we can put into our game. Now we have to program things by clicking on here. Basically, this is to make a move and stuff. So, I'm going to go to keyboard, and whenever... Wait, no, that isn't the right one. Whenever we release any key, he's going to stop. And then you just pull this red arrow thing into here, and hit the blue, hit the square in the middle. And these are all the directions that he can move in. And then if he was actually going to move, you'd put the speed in. And don't worry about clicking that thing because it doesn't really matter in a game like this. Now we have to make him move around. So let's go to keyboard and left. Now when we hit the left key, he's going to move left. So we'll just hit the left arrow at a speed of 4. That's a good speed to work at. I always use it as a default. Okay. And then you just do the same thing with the other keys. Right. Oh. and down there now we have something that we can actually move in the game and all he needs to do is move cause we don't really need him to kick or anything cause I'm gonna show you the next few parts after this click OK now Player 2 is basically the same, but you have to use different keys. I recommend using W for up, S for down, A for left, and D for right. But that's just me. Okay. Now, I think I'll do the ball next, because it's a relatively easy one to do. Just put ball in here. Find the ball sprite. And... When an event, when it collides with the player, it's going to bounce. And that uh, is right here, bounce. So then, it applies to the ball itself, and it'll bounce against solid objects. And precisely, because then it'll go kind of according to what angle it bounced off the object and that makes it a bit more challenging and that's all we can really do with the ball for now and now we're going to add our wall because that's really important because if we didn't have any walls then everything would just go flying off the screen we need to make this solid and we don't need to add any events to it because things are just going to stop and bounce off it. Now let's go back to the ball and add another event. Collision with the wall. Oh, I forgot to put a sprite, but anyway. Collision with the wall means that it'll bounce off precisely. 
Okay. Now, just put a sprite in here. Yeah. It's really important that you remember your sprites, or else things won't work properly in your game. Okay, now, I guess I'll add player 2. Make it solid so the ball will bounce off him, and basically just the same as the other one. Whenever we release any key, he's going to stop. No need to set speed for that because he isn't moving. Now, keyboard. Now, this is a bit of a harder part because we can't use the same controls, otherwise, it's going to get messed up. Now, let's see here. This always confuses me a bit. A means left, so he'll go left. And speed it forward because we don't want him to go any faster. Now, yep, just keep doing this. It's a little tedious, but. It's all good when it's finished. Actually, a while ago I was making a Pac-Man game where you were L from Death Note and you had to get to the piece of candy at the end of the game. And it's a maze game. I'll show you guys how to make that one uh, another time when I have more time on my hands. But anyway... Just keep programming it. I don't really know what to say. Wait, did I put up? Yes, I did. Can't have that. Right, it's W. Just in case you're wondering, I am going to make a whole series of these tutorials. Because my friends trying to find out how to use Game Maker and it isn't really working out for him so he said hey can you help me you know add things to my game and I said well it's kind of hard to explain because it's so basic and I'll just make a video about it and upload it on YouTube so and then I asked him if he could program sprites and he can't do that either so this is a good thing. Now just double check all of these. Yep. Okay, and player two is now set. And now we just need to set the ball to bounce off player two. Okay, now here's the part where we actually start making a game. 